Hi guys, welcome back to Crumbs and Doilies Soho. We are here today, me and Sally, and it's a really nice, gorgeous, sunny day here in London. And we thought, why not show you a really summery, fresh, fruity cupcake to bake? And this is the blueberry cheesecake cupcake, which we're gonna show you what to make today. So this is one of our favorite cupcakes here at Crumbs and Doilies. It's got, it's like packed full of all the goodies. So we've got a buttery biscuit base, because cheesecakes have a buttery biscuit base. <laughs> it's got a lovely zingy lemon sponge, and then it's filled with a homemade blueberry goo. We've got mascarpone cream cheese icing on top, which is super rich. And then we've got a lovely swirl of the blueberry goo as well. So. It's a beautiful hot day, like Dane said, so there's <laughs> nothing better than to go and stand in a sweltering <laughs> kitchen and bake cupcakes. So yeah. we'll do anything for you guys. So let's head on upstairs and we'll show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is make our buttery biscuit base, which is gonna go in the bottom of every single cupcake. So the first thing we've got here is some crushed up digestive biscuits. Um, if you don't have digestives where you are, then something plain. If you're in the States, then graham crackers, because that is actually what you're supposed to yeah. use, I believe. <laughs> so I've got 175 grams of crushed up biscuits here. And then to that, I'm gonna add some melted butter. So we've got unsalted, but if you wanna go salted, that's fine. 60 grams of this and I'm going to mix this together before adding a little bit of golden syrup so I'm going to just add a little bit at a time just because we want to get the consistency of this right so that's maybe about a tablespoon this is just going to help it stick together and make it a little bit sweet yeah <laughs> <laughs> so once you've got this consistency of kind of wet sand as they say so you push your spoon in it and it holds its shape we're ready to put it into our paper cases. So I'm just gonna use this tablespoon measure because it's quite a good measure of how much you wanna put in. And we're gonna plop a spoon in each cupcake case. Grab something like, I know not everyone will have a mini <laughs> rolling pin, but this is a great utensil. You could actually use the back of this spoon and we're just gonna press it down nice and firmly to give our little biscuit base. So I am gonna keep on with these. And meanwhile, I'll start making the sponge. So um, I've got 125 grams of caster sugar and 125 grams of self-raising flour. And then to that, I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. This will just help the sponge give a little bit of a lift and it'll be nice and light and airy and fluffy. So I'll just sift that through. And then um, I've got 125 grams of really soft unsalted butter. And it's super important for cupcakes that you want it really nice and soft and it looks, looks nice and glossy like this. Mm -hmm. So it's not melted, it's not super hard, it's holding its shape and that is going into the bowl. You want it to be nice and soft because it will whip right up. And then to that, it's going to be a lemon sponge, obvs. Mm -mm. So <laughs> got two big juicy lemons and we're just going to zest both of those. That is smelling super fresh and fragrant. The last thing I'm gonna add is two eggs. There we go, I did it again. <laughs> I think no, you put it... a little bit of red there. Is that because <laughs> I did it with no shell? Maybe. <laughs> all of our ingredients added to the bowl. I'm gonna fit the mixer with a paddle attachment and we're just gonna mix this on a really low speed just to get the ingredients combined. Then I'm gonna whack it up to a high speed and beat it for about 30 seconds. The last thing to add is some milk and lemon juice. I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of each. This is some whole milk and the juice from the lemon that we just sested. And get it whipping up to a high speed again. So that's had an extra 30 seconds. I'm just gonna stop it, take the paddle out and give it a scrape down. And this batter is nice and whipped up. It's got lots of volume, it's nice and pale. And you can see the bits of lemon zest in there as well. So we'll just give it a scrape down just to make sure everything is nice and incorporated in there. Oh, it looks really good. Mm. Really fluffy. So fluffy. And if you want to know a little bit more in detail about how to make the perfect cupcake sponge, then Gemma did like a masterclass a few years ago and it's super helpful because we mean it when we say like <laughs> the butter's got to be the right consistency and you want to whip it for not too long but not too little. Yeah. So it, she'll go into like loads of depth about that to make sure you get perfect cupcakes. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> now all there is to do is to pop it into the cases that Sally did the bases for. Yeah. Yes. Go me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll do it, shall I? Okay. So I'm going to use these little spoons. 
a um, couple of teaspoons in each one, but you want it to be kind of like two thirds to three quarters full. Yeah. And try and get them as even as possible. A really great, you can like use a piping bag for this and it's really great because you can see exactly how much you're putting in, but I'm honoring Gemma here. Yeah, this is like- By doing it with spoons. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so these are ready for the oven. Cool. There you go. So the oven is preheated to 175 degrees C, which is fan assisted. And they're gonna go in for somewhere around 18 to 20 minutes. Sometimes I find that when they've got the biscuit base, they need an extra kind of minute or so. So make sure you do check them by giving them the little press on top. And if they don't bounce back straight away, then leave them in for another minute or two. Like I said, the biscuit base does tend to make them need a couple uh, of minutes yeah. extra. So, whilst they're in the oven, Dane's gonna go and wash up. <laughs> he knows his place. No, I'm kidding. Um, and I'm gonna make the blueberry goo, which is gonna go inside our cupcakes and also on the top of our cupcakes. So I've got a pan here with 300 grams of blueberries inside. We've got fresh ones here, but you can get frozen ones very, very easily and they do exactly the same job. And into that, I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar, about 100 grams going in here. And this is exactly the same as when we make our raspberry goo or our strawberry goo. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our hob on, get this boiling, and then as soon as it's started boiling, we're gonna drop it down to a simmer, keep on stirring it, and you wanna boil it down until it's lovely and thick and sticky. So this will only take around five minutes, and you wanna take it off when it looks like this. Really thick, but also very lumpy. And we wanna get rid of those bits of skin so that we're left with a lovely, smooth blueberry goo. So all I'm doing now is pouring it into this fine sieve here, and I'm gonna use a spatula to push it through. So good. Oh, Dane, they're ready. <laughs> so let's have a look at these cupcakes and do a little finger prod test. Let's bring them back nicely. So they are done, we can turn the oven off and we'll pop them over here to cool. Mm. And the next, I'll get straight on with the icing. So we're gonna make some mascarpone icing. It's nice and cool and smooth. I've got 75 grams of soft and salted butter here going straight into the mixer. And then I've got 120 grams of cold mascarpone cheese here. Important that it's nice and cold, because um, if it's not cold, if you use it warm, your icing might be a bit sloppy, which we do not want. So fitting the mixer with a paddle attachment. And I'm just gonna beat these together until they're kind of, they won't go light and fluffy, but they're just nice and combined. And you'll start to see a bit of the water come out of the mascarpone. When you see that, stop. So I've stopped the mixer just as the mascarpone begins to leak a little bit of that water. You don't wanna go any further or else your icing will be a bit too loose. Next up is some icing sugar and I've got 420 grams of sifted icing sugar. I'm gonna add this in two halves and I'll mix it on a slow speed so that we don't get a cloud of icing sugar and then whack it up to a high speed for a couple of minutes. Icing is ready, it's nice and whipped up, smooth, and mascarpone icing and cream cheese icing are quite similar. They tend to be quite thick, but you can see it's holding its shape and it's not flopping off of the spatula everywhere. So I'm just gonna take this away with me, cover it over with some cling film, we'll wait for our cupcakes to cool down, get the blueberry goo together, and we'll get rolling. Alrighty, our little cuppy cakes have cooled down nicely, so it's time to decorate. Yes, I'll start by chomping the middle out. We've just got an apple core here. Go straight down, not all the way down to the middle, because you don't want a hole where the goo will come out. And Sally's gonna fill them. Yep, so I have put the delicious blueberry goo into this little squeezy bottle, but you could use a piping bag if you like. And now I'm just gonna fill up that cupcake right to the brim with this amazing blueberry goo. Look at the color, it is gorgeous, it is natural, and it is tasty. Mm, 
delicious, but <laughs> next step. Icing. So I popped the mascarpone icing that I made earlier into a piping bag with a large round nozzle. And I'm just gonna keep the bag nice and vertical. Go around, do a little flourish on top. Beautiful, and then I'm gonna finish these off with the remaining blueberry goose. I'm gonna do three little blobs on top. I've got a skewer here, but you could use a toothpick. And I'm just gonna do a few wiggly woos. How beautiful is that? Pretty darn beautiful. That looks perfect. <laughs> Wow. Voila! <laughs> they look D E A beautiful. Don't they just? She's nice and glossy. Yes, I love it. And this icing looks super smooth and silky. So what good. are we doing? Come on, eat it, oh. eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's peel back. Let's find that biscuit base. Yeah, look at that. Love it. That's going to add a nice little crunch. Yes. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. You've got that blueberry going in the centre. The nice zesty lemon sponge. Mascarpone icing is nice and cool and creamy. Mmm. So good. I didn't get quite to the middle yet because. <laughs> what are you playing at? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here goes. When I mean, I've got crumbs all over my lips. Mmm. There we go. Absolutely divine. Wow, so good. <laughs> <laughs> and um, these will be in CD Soho all weekend from Friday till Sunday. So make sure you come in store and grab one. And um, of course, if you're going to bake these as well, make sure you hashtag Cupcake Gemma and at Cupcake Gemma and at Crumbs and Doilies so we can see all of your bakes. We love seeing them. Yes, we do. And if there's any other cupcakes you want us to create, like maybe there's some other kind of desserts, like we've done the blueberry cheesecake. I think we've done like key lime pie. Key we lime did pie. eat mess a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. We love kind of coming up with um, cupcake versions yeah, of like desserts. Yeah, cupcake defying it. Yeah, 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 definitely. So let us know what you want to see yeah. and if you like this video then please give it a little thumbs up because that helps spread the word throughout the YouTube world yes. <laughs> and we can get more people into our baking family as yeah. well. And don't forget to subscribe as well because the button is right there, it's so easy, click it, it's free, it costs nothing and <laughs> it makes sure that you, we know that you like what we're doing. Absolutely <laughs> and you'll know every time we upload a video. Yeah. So we will see you next week, we look forward to baking with you again but we look forward more to eating these cupcakes, yes. I say. Let's do it out of this hot kitchen and go oh frolic in the sun. Oh my gosh, yeah, please get me out of here. <laughs> sorry about the shine. <laughs> What's going it's going on. The but I'm not sorry about this. Mm. <laughs>